Welcome back to the 2019 Fox Fall Preview. We already covered Monday, so let's jump into Tuesday. Season three of Fox's provocative medical drama, The Resident, kicks off the night September 24th, 8, 7 central. And this year, there's a new doctor in town. The talented Morris Chestnut will be joining the cast. Dr. King, call me back. Following The Resident, the end of an era will begin. When Empire premiered in January 2015, no one could have predicted it would go on to inspire a generation and become a cultural phenomenon. Let's take a special look back at Empire. Empire is more than just one man's dream. It's a dream come true. And you all can be a part of it. Empire's final season is anticipated with great joy. I think what I'm most proud of is the impact a woman like Cookie has had on the world. The thing that I'm most proud of is in the second season, the premiere, we had 24 to 28 million people tune in to watch our little show to galvanize that many people and to realize, wow, the thing that we're doing here matters. What I am most looking forward to in the final season of Empire, how we wrap this whole thing up. No! To the fans who fell off, if I were you, I would catch up because this grand finale is going to be something to reckon with. <laughs> The Masked Singer triumphantly returns to the schedule on September 25th, 8, 7 central, with a two-hour premiere. Last season, millions of viewers were mesmerized by the Who Sung It celebrity singing competition. And this season, the musical mystery promises to be bigger and bolder. You got a singing egg, snow leopard, a fox, a skeleton, a black widow, pink flamingo. you want to give it a go, go. I'm the host of the show, and I have no idea who that was. Same goes for our panelists, Robin Thicke, Jenny McCarthy, Ken Jung, and Nicole Scherzinger, who are back to put their best guests forward. Now, as the host of the show, I want to pull back the curtain and give you an inside look into the mass Singer. So, I had the rare and wonderful opportunity to sit down with me for the exclusive interview. It's a moment I've all been waiting for. Take a look. Thank you for taking the time to talk with me, me. My pleasure, me. What's it like being the host of last year's number one new series? It's amazing. I mean, you you know the feeling. You know I can't take all the credit for the Mad Singer's success. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm amazing. You're a wild boy. I'm amazing. Were you surprised that the Mad Singer was such a massive hit? I wasn't as surprised as you were. What's your favorite part of hosting? My favorite part of hosting has to be me. <laughs> now, what can viewers expect this season? Uh, viewers can expect bigger, better, bolder version of me. Thank you for taking the time out your busy schedule to rap with me, Nick. My pleasure, me. Anything for me. Speaking of, uh, I'm gonna need them shoes because I got a date tonight, me. Yeah, he's not getting these. Joining the Masked Singer on Wednesdays, Fox is debuting an unusual family drama about a woman named Julia, played by Brittany Snow, who finds out her successful fertility doctor dad, played by Timothy Hutton, has been using his own, well, how do I say this delicately? Swimmers to get hundreds of women pregnant in the name of science. Premiering October 2nd, 9, 8 central, here's your first look at Almost Family. Have you guys checked your email? I have a message from the DNA testing company. It's my results. It says I'm a 99.3% match for paternity with Leon Beckley. And I'm a 99.6% match with him. That's it. We're genetically connected. I play Julia Beckley, who is the daughter of Leon Beckley, a fertility doctor. People come to him that are trying to have children, and they've tried everything, and they hear, well, you should go to the Beckley Clinic because they really do miracles. And it turns out those miracles perhaps are not so miraculous. I used material that I knew to be successful. He has been lending his sperm to many donors. How many? I never kept a formal record. I find out that I have two sisters who one of whom I've known my whole life, Edie. I was always jealous of you. And also Roxy, who's a ex-Olympic athlete. Let's find out if I share a special bond with a stranger. It's it more and more complicated as we go, which is great. I can't believe it's not just me anymore. 
I have sisters. Do you want to get a sister selfie? Nope. No way. Can't wait to see how big the family's gonna get. Hey, man, I thought I told you guys about playing ball in the studio. Oh, yeah, I hear you. That song can only mean one thing. We have arrived at Thursday. The NFL on Fox is back, and so is my Fox Ball preview partner, Aaron Andrews, to break it all down. Aaron, take it away. Thank you, Nick. Thursday night football will be in prime time for 11 weeks starting September 26 with two storied franchises from the NFC kicking it off. The Philadelphia Eagles head north to battle the Green Bay Packers at Lambeau Field and this is just the beginning. Throughout the season on Thursdays Fox will be bringing you marquee matchups like Rams and Seahawks, Giants and Patriots, Chiefs and Broncos, Steelers and Browns, Cowboys and Bears just to name a few. Going for it all. Pass is caught for the touchdown. Amazing matchups like this deserve an amazing broadcast team, and we've got that covered. Joe Buck, Troy Aikman, and myself are on hand to bring insight and analysis to every play. You don't want to miss it. After the break, we'll be going from touchdowns to smackdowns. The WWE is coming to you live on Fridays this fall, so stick around. We'll be right back. Oh, 